I always was like, I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, at first she's making stuff up, but why would you make that up? So, <laughs> so then I had to smell the beans. <laughs> well, and then, <laughs> Mom was very scientific. She always just told us whatever the truth was. And it was like, why? Because didn't her mom, like, hardly ever tell her anything? Yeah. I don't her think. Her mom, like, not tell her until she was, like, married or something. And one time I came home from work, and uh, Mary and that were, were sitting out on the step with their kids. I think it was Jeannie. Oh, he was very Jeannie. I wonder what they were doing, waiting for me to drive them away. <laughs> rides up the driveway. Oh, He'd stand yeah. at the end of the driveway and you'd I, put us in the car and drive us up the driveway. Uh, <laughs> and we thought that was just the best. <laughs> Especially up that big hill. That Remember, did yeah, you see that big yeah. hill the other day? Yeah. <coughs> I remember Bernie coming home from college from Notre Dame and then you must have taken home one of the... Um, See, he went to Ho he went to Hope and then he went to to Hughes. Huh? Hughes or something like that. Anyway, we were driving up that Portage Trail Hill to take somebody home for Bernie or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I just remember thinking that hill was so steep I was scared to death that our car was gonna fall off that hill. Is that right? Because I just thought it was too <laughs> steep. <laughs> Joseph used to be that way about certain hills. He was really scared. <laughs> Where'd mm. Joseph get his hat? I think he got it at the thrift store. I, I saw him when I came in. Yeah. Nate goes, that's that Russian kid. <laughs> 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 he told Dan because he would tell him. That's funny. I was trying to think when Joy was born. Was that when you, you claimed... Yeah. Who's my baby? Who you had prayed baby. for him. Right. Yeah. Mm. That's another thing Chrissy told me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I, I asked mom for another baby, and mom said, oh, no, babies cost $100. You know? <laughs> and so uh -huh. she says to me, that's not how you have babies. This is when I was like four. <laughs> oh, my God. And so she says, that's not how you have babies. Come with me. And she took me upstairs. Why we knelt at the bathtub, I don't know. <laughs> you are up the stairs because you're close to heaven. You'll get hurt better. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you're on the right. second floor. Is that what your mother told you? That's and what we I thought prayed for reason. a baby, and <laughs> mom got pregnant. Pray for them. Oh, wow. She thought she was done, huh? <laughs> yes. She had Joey, and I said, I, he's my baby because I prayed for him. Because <laughs> I was like five and six. <laughs> I think I might have been five because when Joey was actually born, um, I was at home. I think I might have been going to kindergarten at the time, but I was still at home because I remember the milkman coming and showing him the new baby. I brought him over to the door. He thought I had a doll in my arms, but I actually had the newborn baby, and I was this little kid carrying out this newborn baby. He was, like, terrified. So... Remember we used to sing for the milkman? The, the, which man though? We had the writer man and then we there was two different milk places. I remember one. The writer milk, milk and something yeah. else. Because the one milkman asked me when I was on the other side of the block at some little friend's house or something, why do you guys have two different um, dairies? Because we had two different dairies that were delivering to the house, you know. And I said, because some of the kids like one milk and some of the kids like another. <laughs> and he thought that was funny, but Mom said it was because they did, they brought different things for like, I don't know if it was like for bottles or something, for formula. Mm -hmm. There was something that Mom wanted from the one that the other one didn't have. So she, we were having deliveries made from both dairies. Mm -hmm. I'm almost positive, I remember... Because that was such an odd thing for a little kid to say, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings, and I didn't really know the real reason. So I just said we liked some like the one milk and some like the other kind of milk. Daddy, you want to recline at all? Hmm? Do you want to recline at all? No. Oh. Okay. But, I'm going to go see what my girls are doing. Remember Mrs. Yeah. Fisher? Yeah. I remember Mom telling the story of... She got... <laughs> 
She had some inspector guy, some building inspector come to the door. But there had been a complaint that they had an a, um, unlicensed um, building or whatever on yeah. the property. And, right. And, um, or no permit, unperm. Well, yeah, no, no permit. building permit. Yeah. This is funny, Linda. This and, is elderly lady. And so and she laughed and, and brought him to the backyard, and here the, the boys had built a fort out of, like, cardboard boxes oh. and old blankets. And Mrs. And Fisher stuff. had called the, the... She had called and reported that. As <laughs> <laughs> and she was the lady that, you know, she was very, very odd, but Dad always drove her... Aww. To the farm to get her milk. Because yeah. she only would have like farm milk, right? Yeah. Mrs. Fisher. Yeah. 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 She she did she didn't like pasteurized milk, mm -hmm. and uh, better told her that she could come out there when they milk and get it at that time. Uh huh. Do you know where you, that is, Spotlers? You know. And you kids would be in the yeah. back seat, yeah. and you were told to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I know. She wasn't a very nice lady. Yeah. I was scared of Evelyn. This is your yeah. yes. I was I got, did you grab the um, you know, cheese? She was an odd person, some. but now in her and backyard, she had oh. more different things growing in that backyard than you imagine. Oh, oh, yeah. And one night they came at the, the house at about oh, eleven o'clock. Um, Evelyn came over, uh -huh. and she wanted me to come. Her mother wanted me to come up in their backyard. They had they called it. And uh, where are the tortillas? Not the Easter cactus, but it was. Something. Anyway, the the, bo the the blossom only open uh, for one or two nights during the year. Huh. And it, uh, the the uh, nativity was okay. involved. Yeah. Okay. And it, the blossom. You look at it and down inside where the petals is on. It looked like a a cradle with a little baby in it. Oh. Yeah. And that uh, was a. So. But she was she was odd. Yeah, well, but you were always a good neighbor to her. Mm -hmm. You were always a very good neighbor to her. Yeah. Her well, she was she's a Mennonite, you know. She okay. Had some kind of flower there. And, uh, oh, for Mrs. Fisher had some kind of flower that would only bloom, like one or two days of the year, and it had something to do with something the nativity or something, oh. and it looked like a little baby in a cradle. Where was she, where was she uh, uh, laid in the funeral home? What funeral home was she? Mrs. Fisher. Uh -huh. She was out out. Orville. Uh, huh. Orville. Uh. Oh. There's, there's a several young a small Rit, Rittman. Orville? Cause huh? was it in Orville? Uh, near Orville. Okay, because this is so weird. Because I remember Mrs. Fisher's funeral, and I remember thinking she was so little when I looked at her in the casket. And then you let us go across the street to this park. I remember there being pine trees and stuff right near this funeral home. Well, I was in a nursing home, and I was driving around, and. Sure enough, I drove by this area that had the pine trees and a funeral home across the street, and I thought, I think that's where Mrs. Fisher was. Probably was. Yeah. Isn't that weird uh, that I had that memory of... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember... And I remember the casket was half closed. Weird. Well, you know the how bottom half was closed, how and it was Evelyn small. Was, uh, on her court trails all the time, and did what she asked her to do and everything and so forth, and he sort of thought of her as retarded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But after Mrs. Fisher died, and Evelyn went up to live with her sister, she straightened out and became a very normal. Oh, baby. Isn't yeah. that something? Well, that's like Mr. Mabe, and Mrs. Mabe always that's had That's right, him. there was two. Yeah. That's right. Mm. That's, that's I remember when, you know, for years, we everybody used that driveway, I yes. put everybody, and uh, when they moved in, she put those cement blocks yeah. down yeah. the center line. Yeah. She was something. And, and Mr. Mabe went along with it that way until 
after she died, and then when Teresa was getting married, he removed all the blocks. Yeah. Um, Remember, Ann Babcock and I and course, used to stand at the he, window uh, and make faces at him. <laughs> him and her. He had a, a, a <laughs> reputation of being a very good teacher. Uh -huh. And he, he taught for a long time in, in public schools. And he retired from there and he came over the, the next year and started at St. Sebastian. And uh, then he became Catholic. Mm -hmm. And uh, he. Uh, I heard he wanted to become Catholic for a while, but he didn't want to do it while his mom was alive. I think it's a domination group. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, I think he just goes to the door. Yeah. You got to hurry up. The kids you get, they had to sell candy. Well, he, he bought a Lego doll. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Those are cute sandals. Got them at Lucky's. Hmm. Last time I was here. So you buy Lucky's out when you come to town. They match your outfit. Perfectly. When I saw these colors, I thought I really need to get them. You wear a lot them. of those colors, so you just. So I thought, you know, I should. Yeah, because I didn't really need a pair of sandals, but they these are always really soft sold, and yeah, um, that's good. so with these colors, I thought, ah, oh, they're actually kind of dirty. I should rinse them off a little bit, like the color on the ribbons and stuff. You know what works wonderfully on shoes too is those um, magic eraser sponges. Really? Mm -hmm. Never thought of using them. Yep. Bell's nap the soap. That's what really works. Yep, that works. You're right. Gets all the dirt out of things. Yeah, it does. Bell's nap the, and it gets the arm stains out of your underarm. I'll have to remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I forgot. I mean, I have some, because for a little while I was making my own laundry detergent, <laughs> and uh, but it did not clean things as well, so I went back to buying detergent. Mm -hmm. It just... Well, weren't you doing that? Well, you were doing it to save money, but also because of, like, allergies and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it was a lot, it was a lot cheaper, but just didn't... The clothes just weren't... I mean, it sounds like a commercial, but the clothes were still kind of dull. Mm -hmm. So I... So I switched to Tide <laughs> with bleach. Well, you know, with all of the scientific um, things nowadays, it only makes sense, doesn't it? You know, that they'd find better yeah, and more improved I ways to do it. Yeah, but it's expensive. Can't use Tide? You know, it makes my armpits really irritated. You know what? Tide, uh, the it's liquid or the harsh. powder or both? Liquid. Because we can't use the liquid because of that. It breaks the kids out in rashes. Mm. But what but I do do okay? is the powder was okay, plus you can use a little less powder. Mm -hmm. But um, what, what I do is I get the liquid, and then if I have a stain I have trouble getting out or I have to soak something, then mm -hmm. I use the liquid, and then I go and wash it all out. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I it. almost all my washes, I do an extra rinse just... Because, you know, I don't want the detergent staying in the clothes and stuff. Yeah. So. We switched to, to some other kind that is fine. Me. But, well, now they have some sort of Tide. Without? Without any dyes or, you know. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Javier's dad's company that does, yeah. Procter and Gamble. Big Cincinnati company. Yeah. yeah. Keeps the economy pretty stable there. Because they're so diversified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing how many products. Yeah. They yeah. Have. They are Procter and Gamble. That's who makes our was making our toothpaste and mm -hmm. I think we're doing Colgate right now though. Yeah. Well they had crest for a while and then the uh, rep wasn't treat treating Stephen Burke that well, so they said, hey, you know, we don't have to stay with you just because it's a Cincinnati company. So mm -hmm. They switched over. Oh, really? Yeah. 
to Colgate? Yeah, to the, the I think Crest is P&G. Mm -hmm. so right. Yep. And yeah, we just Colgate, switched. Yeah. Isn't that something that the a rep, you know, I mean, that's why you Yeah, I mean, they kind of act like we own you because we're from here. It's like, no, you don't. Yeah. You know, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Is that thing on? What? Is that on? No. Well, St. Sebastian's Choir is touring Italy now, and the pastor's with them, and Deacon Terry's with them, and uh, a lot of others yeah, went with them. So I met quite a, they having quite a time this week. <laughs> that's neat. Yeah. Hopefully it's not a hundred degrees. Father Pfeiffer is busy. Yeah. Well, that's oh, he's neat. with them? No. Oh. Father Pfeiffer's running the parish now. Oh. While they're over there in Italy. Oh, you mean uh, Father Balanchek went to Italy? Father Valenchek went yeah, with him? Yeah. Oh, that's Valenchek nice. And, you know, went to Mass last Sunday. Uh -huh. I thought... Uh, we have to show our pictures. Dick and Terry's wife she always sits there. And connect yeah. to the TV and, and we can and show them. And I went to there. Get the camera from then there. Then I realized she's going with him. Does she sing with the choir? Or does she just no, go with him? No. She normally... She had not been connected with the choir. She uh -huh. her connected with her, her husband. Oh, and he went. And he went, so. Nice. Very nice. See, I'm doing it right now. I'm just I'm massaging hurts. my joints because right here it hurts. Right here it hurts. When I got 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 ready to get married, wanted to give me a ring. I wouldn't take wouldn't take one. Why? Because who my knuckles are. So I got them ready to go fold my knuckles. That was too realize, sloppy. Yeah. So I just didn't. So. I'm, a, I'm not the married man anymore. So. <laughs> you never did have a wedding ring. No. Yeah, I remember that you never had one. So. I'm tired. Mariella. Smile. <laughs> There's her dirty feet. You can't be tired. You're young. Wait till you're our age. I'm always tired. Hmm. Every second of every day. Well. So, Dad, did you see, like, on the news today, how that one fan at the home run derby yeah, last night was re trying to reach for one of those home run balls? Uh -huh. And he was up real high on a table or something, so he reached over and he actually fell. <gasps> and the only thing that kept him from falling to his death was his friends were all hanging on to his ankles. He's he was lucky, dangling. Because that one guy did fall. And, yep, and the died. one guy died. Yeah. The, they actually were burying him yesterday. It's yeah. That guy's funeral was yesterday. The dad of the yeah. one boy and um, the guy in um, Texas. Oh, that is but they're getting to the point where they're taking chances. Now, I don't know that that was the case it's with this guy in Texas. I think they need to put, like, plexiglass up there or something. They, Who knows? They probably will be pretty yeah, soon. They might need to. <sighs> Stop your yawning. It's Mario's fault. She just said she was tired and it made me tired. We've had beautiful weather. Yeah, we have. Just that little bit of rain yesterday.